Hello again, and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Worsu of DebraWorsu.com, and it's great to be bringing you another Thread Sketching in Action demonstration. Thread Sketching in Action is a series of thread sketching, thread painting, and free machine embroidery demonstrations that has now had over half a million views. Having recently spent quite some time in China, this video, number 89 in the series, features an urban street life scene from Wuhan. I took the source photo showing this man carefully collecting litter while I was walking the streets of Wuhan on a very cold, wet, wintry day. As you can see from my thread sketch, I've modified and simplified the photo, reducing it to its core elements. The thread sketching is comprised of basic outline stitching using free motion straight stitch. Some of my other recent urban thread sketches also feature this type of stitching. So what I want to talk about today is the effect of colour on a thread sketch. Having reduced the photo to a basic design and transferred the drawing to fabric, a plain white background in this case, the stitching of the picture begins. With a quite minimalist drawing like this, stitching can begin almost anywhere you like on the fabric, which is a different approach than if the piece were to be heavily thread painted, when it's better to start in the centre. Once the stitching is complete, you can see that we have an effective, yet not very exciting, design. So, taking a different approach, the same design is now worked on a coloured fabric background. Immediately, I feel this picture has more energy and movement, which can be seen when we compare the two thread sketches side by side. By using background fabric that has its own interest, in this case, in the form of a random pattern of sorts, this being a batik fabric, the impression of depth and texture is created. I also selected a colour that I felt would be sympathetic to the overall design. Let's explore now what happens when some colour highlights are added, beginning with the white background thread sketch. The bright red-orange and green that will be added in a moment, complementary colours on a colour wheel, immediately bring the picture to life almost more so than if every element of the scene had added colour. Contrast this now to adding similar colours, a brighter orange this time, and greens, to the picture with the coloured background. This is much better, but to my eye there's still something missing. The picture is not balanced. So what to do? In order to draw the eye around the picture, I'm going to use the patch of lighter fabric to the right of the figure and also add another section of colour to the figure. By adding this tiny extra touch of colour, the eye is now drawn to the orange jacket, balanced by the green above and below and then around the scene towards the patch of light on the right. This ensures that the viewer is drawn to the main elements, with colour and light moving their eye around the picture. This really helps in the creation of a pleasing, balanced picture, even when working from an original photo that didn't seem to have a lot going for it. I hope you've been inspired by this short demonstration. If you'd like to learn more about thread sketching, why not take a class with me? You'll find them all at www.learn.debraworsu.com. You can also sign up for free tips, tutorials and ebooks by subscribing to my free resource library. Just hop over to debraworsu.com and use any of the resource library sign up buttons. Thanks so much for your company today. 
Until next time, bye for now.